Administrative Compliance to investigate the revised Section 8 on the federal government policy on the compulsory retirement by public servants who have attained eight years as directors in ministries, departments and agencies. This followed a motion sponsored by the House Leader Honorable Julius O. Ihonsbere, Minority Leader Honorable Kingsley Chinda and Honorable Ishaya Lalu. Presenting the motion on behalf of the sponsor, the Minority Leader Honorable Kingsley Chinda drew attention to a government secular dated 27th of July 2023 titled the Revised Public Service Rules BSR issued by the Head of Service. The secular directed public servants to comply with the Public Service Rules 2021 Section 8 which stipulates compulsory retirement for directors after eight years whether or not the director has reached a biological retirement age of 60 years or 35 years in service is in direct conflict with a harmonized retirement age for teachers in Nigeria Act 2022. The crux of this motion is that the secular is against a law passed by this house. And no matter how good, no matter how well intended the secular is, once it is against an existing act of parliament, it cannot stand. We don't need to start inviting them to come and tell us whether the secular is justified or not. That secular is against the, the harmonized retirement age for teachers in Nigeria Act 2022. So I don't think that there is need to invite them, and that's why we have asked that they should be... Are you sure that. the Teachers Act is not a special, uh, a special provision it is, that has been drawn uh, exclusively for the teachers? Yes, it is. Uh, it doesn't have general application within the It the is civil for service. the teachers. The, the secular covers teachers, and that is our quarrel, that since that secular affects teachers, and there is an act specially for teachers. So the secular should be withdrawn. The head of service still has opportunity to regularize that secular either by removing teachers from it. But we cannot ask her to come Leader, and I still believe also at plenary on Thursday, the House of Representatives mandated the committees on special duties and finance to investigate Nigeria's national homegrown school feeding program. It also urged the federal government to revisit the school feeding program in all public primary schools in Nigeria. Concerned that suspension of, the, of this program by the current administration is unsettling for several reasons, namely reduce school enrollment and attendance, compromise health and cognitive development of the children, and disruption of the income of smallholder farmers. Recognize that addressing the program challenges is crucial, but a complete suspension may cause more harm. Therefore, it is important to find alternative solution or efficient implementation of the National Homegrown School Feeding Program to ensure Nigerian children continue to benefit from this important initiative. Worry that the cancellation of the program is causing upsurge in the number of out-of-school children posing a threat to the country's future and leading to high rate of crime, insecurity, and unemployment. And all the relevant committees, as amended in prayer one, first and foremost, be made to invite and investigate to tell Nigerians what has happened to that program. If we do not investigate and find out what has happened to the program, Mr. President, I do not support that we should continue or encourage the program to go on. My prayer, sir, Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. To mandate the Committee on Special Duties and Finance. No, not, to not just to invite, but to investigate. Not to invite. The prayer here is to invite the Honorable Ministers of Special Duties and the to revisit the program. I'm saying not to revisit the program, but to investigate the program. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.